So I just finished, uh, of course, they got a, whatever, you know, TV, you know, the stuff, you know, the modern homes have the biggie, ding, ding. And I did, uh, I just finished um, watching um, the James Baldwin piece, I Am Not Your Negro. Um, but he has, there's one phrase he said, what surprised me, I didn't know it was, is a Raul Peck movie. I like Raul Peck, the director, he did, uh, don't worry, you look him up, Raul Peck. Um, uh, so and also, so I think it's not Samuel Jackson. I gotta look this up too. It says Samuel Jackson at the end of it. I guess he's because somebody is reading um, what James Baldwin wrote. He had this like some thirty-page treatise or something like that. He was gonna write on Mega Evers, uh, Martin Luther King, and, and and Malcolm X, and that's the start of his whole thing. He didn't he didn't do the piece. But I guess Samuel Jackson is reading. I don't know, but it, it's good. It's a good piece. I like. I liked it. I liked it a lot. You know. Anyway, but there's one one thing that says in here that that to me is like really striking. What everybody comes to America for. White is a metaphor for power. In the United States, you know, white is the power, and everybody that comes to the United States, they want to be white. Because they want that power, you know, and even the black people that are the black people who are black, they want to be white, chasing that power. Because that's a, a power. then it's to demonstrate from the beginning. Just the white people got together. First, they got together, and got rid of the Indians, I pushed them over, and then you know, then they all, all kept on banding together, you know, at little, little junctions and, and and doing all kinds of things. I was listening to some documentary they was talking about, or something they was talking. No, uh, it was um. Oh, my man, oh, what's his name? Oh, the professor. From, he's at University of Pennsylvania now. Um, oh, man, his name escapes me now, but uh, he's really good. Um, I mean, he always has a really good analysis. I'm thinking of this actor that is, is oh, man, I forget his name. Don't worry, you'll find him sooner or later. Um, uh, intellectual servant class, IS, oh, that's, that's great, did that. So that's with that. But, this, strangely enough, um, I think the reason why I was reading it because um, you know this, these these publications from the uh, what do you call these people? Uh, the uh, what's that? The Library of America. Yeah, Library of America. This you know these these things, right? They they usually have it. Uh, uh, I won't say unedited, but like the best version of of whatever the writing was. So I was I was looking through this ball one even before even before I looked at the thing, because I don't really watch TV. And I noted there's something that I want to read to you that Baldwin said. He says a lot, you know, in this particular volume. So they got these nice little things here, like the, the Bible, like that. Um, but this has a lot of stuff, I mean. It's a great book. I got to get this myself. Collected Essays. Oh, here's this Collected Essays. Uh, uh, the notes of native son. Nobody knows my name. The fire next time. Uh, no name in the street. The devil finds work. Other essays. I, be, I read most of these essays when they first came out. Um, this has all from. It's you know they have the whole table of contents there. With a lot of stuff. Anyway, uh, this one particular thing I want to read to you, if I can. Um, mm, what did I, I had this for something? Uh, oh, here, there's just one, it's one little passage, well, I think. Let me read it. Oh. Had our glasses on, watching thing, and I can't read nothing. I don't have my reading glasses because they're stuck in South Africa. <laughs> I got to call the VA, they sent me some more reading glasses. I don't know, maybe I can read out. Um, so I learned one particular evening what his Christian ministry meant to him. Let me spill it out a little. The text come from um, the New Testament, Matthew 25, uh, 40. Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Okay, I guess that's Jesus talking. Okay. I am in the strenuous and far from dull position of having news to deliver to the Western world. For example, he's talking about Baldwin's talking about his news to the Western world. Black is not a synonym 
for slave. Black is not a synonym for slave. Let me say that one more time. Black is not a synonym for slave. Now remember, when he's talking about this particular uh, this particular junction, he's really talking about because this is a uh, when did he write this? Or uh, let's say it's before you know he died in the '80s and the seven. So he's way, he's way before the, the the '80s. You know what I mean? So we're talking about basically people who are descendants of chattel slavery, or or what we call them these days. Uh, the accurate name would be uh, ADOS, American Descendants of Slavery. Anyway, the institution that is. Um. Remember, black is not a synonym for slave. Do not, I counsel you, attempt to defend yourselves against this stunning, unyielding, and undesired message. You will hear it again. Indeed, this is the only message the Western world is likely to be hearing from here on out. When did, I don't know. Uh, when is Open letter to born again. This is from... Open letter to born again. Oh, this is the essay, well, the section of the essay, the beginning of the, section of, of the essay, um, um, the born again thing. Let me see where it comes from. Let me see. So I'll tell you what accurate essay it is. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's under other essays, I guess. Yeah. Open letter to the born again. It's from other essays. It's a separate essay. I haven't read that one. Anyway, so think about that. You know, I think I think that the the, uh, the powers that be, if you want to say it that way, the powers that be in the modern world, because you know, there's there's a, always been a big shift between the powers that be and whatever. The powers that be keep on trying to manipulate, manipulate, and with the with this whole uh, uh, coronavirus or coronavirus, the virus, um, then you have a lot of things happening. Where the powers that be is shaken up, they they got to readjust, and I, and with with all the stuff that's happening, the 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 the, the supply I'm gonna say supply lines, you know, lines being uh, uh, uh let's say food lines being food lines being adjusted, you know what I mean? Because you can't deliver the food to trucks or whatever because the virus and this and that, states being locked down, unlock, you know, the, the country because we are Americans, we're not listening to real logic. Let me drink some water here. Sorry, I got water. Mm. Then things are changing so much that they don't know how to handle it. And because we're Americans, we don't want to do the, the, the communist thing or the, the dictator thing, or, or even though we got, I won't get into that right now. So like like Vietnam, they, 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 their thing is down. Japan never closed up because they have a culture of mass. All kinds of things have been happening. There are all kinds of examples that, that America should be doing. But because we're American, we got to do it American way, then <laughs> wave upon wave upon wave, Unfortunately for me, I'm stuck in America, and they're, and they're not letting the Americans. They're not letting Americans into any other country. I live in South Africa, and I can't get back because the Americans. Because we're Americans. <laughs> now Americans find itself isolated in the world. Even I was. Um, somebody told me back before I left, this was happening, but I just found out. And then and every other country is doing. They're doing stuff. You know what I mean? They're not waiting for some pharmaceutical thing to do it, years or whatever have you. Like I, um, like India, it was reported that in India. I think they have some trials here in the United States where people who have been infected, they're they're, they're basically, you know, you you, you have blood, you have red blood cells, and you have plasma, you know, platelets or whatever. So they separate things. Then you have the plasma. So they're using the plasma from people who have had it or recovered, whatever have you, and they're giving it to other, you know, at-risk patients, whatever have you, and that's the test thing. That, well, in India, India, they're doing it, it's supposed to be working. I don't know. I haven't researched it. I, I reported that already. So anyway, my, my point is, uh, nothing is that, you know, the way you think of somebody before, it ain't happening no more. You know, I think the powers that be are in serious trouble. They'll blame things on, on on the virus now, like like we know the bank, the whole money system, the whole fiat system is like... That's what you know. How you can tell stuff is happening because I see. Uh, I use. I, I do um, uh, the the YouTube a lot. I mean, you know, yeah, the internet, uh, internet a lot. They always have these schemes. You know, uh, uh, these. Uh, uh, I made a lot of money putting this new. They 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 making a lot of money, making a lot of money. Well, all of the money you make, it ain't gonna be worth diddly if you if you ain't collecting it in in like cryptocurrency or or some precious metals or something like that. Fiat money. It may take a while, but I don't know. I don't, it may take long. It may take shorter because nobody knows what's going on. 
Nobody meaning uh, you and me, me being T from the Patterson Signal Change to Tibet, letting you know that I, what I only suspect. 